Hey, what's up? I'm the Zim, and that's Spider-Man, and this is the Zim video, and this is what I call a rideshare nugget. It's where I talk about some small little idea, concept, thought, whatever commentary on the rideshare industry and driving. I've been a driver since February 2nd, 2017, and I've done over 12,000 rides as of recording this video. And today, I just want to talk about what I think are three types of drivers in terms of financial need. There's one type is people that use rideshare driving as their primary source of income, most likely full-time drivers. I fall under that category. I'm probably on the extreme end of really diligently doing this job to make it my source of income, and I have to do it every week to make sure I'm able to survive that type of thing. There's part-time drivers that are clearly part-time. They can drive for anywhere from you know, that use the, I should say first, financial need is use it as supplementary income for a variety of reasons, um, but it's not their primary income. So they're most likely part-time drivers. And they go from anywhere from a few rides um, a week to maybe up to like 30 hours a week of driving and maybe up to like 60, 70 rides a week. I don't know, somewhere in that range. <clears throat> and then, And then the third kind of section of rideshare drivers are the um, not primary income, but don't, but, but it is probably their primary job in the sense that they do, maybe they're retired or maybe they have dual income in their household or maybe their overhead is really low that, so they don't need to approach it as a full-time job in the way of like, I have to be there every week. One week I can drive, you know, full time the next week I drive part time but there's not a pressure of financial need and this group is the group that I find most curious because I find they're the ones that have the most skewed perspective of the job in terms of understanding what it means to be a full time driver they they think like oh I drive I've driven you know 40 hours this one week every once in a while I know what it means to be a full time driver and I'm, I'm on the fence. I'm on the side of the, the argument of, no, you don't. You don't have to do it every week. You obviously have somewhere else that you, you don't need the money to come in the same every single week so that you can be casual about it and that kind of thing. So those are my three types of drivers. It's the primary source of income, full-time drivers, grinding it out, doing that thing. And there's a spectrum in there. Of course, like I said, I'm in all my videos, all these videos I make are definitely from the perspective of being a full-time driver and feeling like I have to do it to make sure I'm, I'm able to survive and thrive for my family and for myself in San Diego and um, make sure all my ends are met. I feel like I, I really have to do it. I have to think critically. I have to be smart about it. I have to. There's always a reason for why I'm doing things. It's never like uh, just, a, oh, whatever. It's always like, why does this make sense? Why does it make sense to deny a ride here or to take a ride there? Or I'm, I'm never just sitting in the car going like, oh, I don't feel like driving. I don't feel like taking a ride. It's like that would that would never happen. It's always just like, I'm in the car, I'm working. That's like that's what it's about. And then there's the part-time supplementary income that are just can be super casual or they can be super focused too, but it's only within a short amount of time. They don't need to make the money to make sure they're able to survive every month, every week, every whatever. And then there's that middle ground of you know, people that drive a lot but don't have don't have the pressure of having to. And then, then there's that group of people. So those are my three types of, you know, rideshare drivers based on financial need. What do you think? Where do you fall? Do you have one? Do you have something? Do you think there's another group of driver in terms of financial need that I missed? Um, I don't know. Love to hear your thoughts. Thanks a lot for watching. About 72% of you are not subscribed to my channel that watch my show. So please consider subscribing. You can do it on the pop-up on the screen or down below on the page. Subscribe. And um, be sure to check out my full show. It's called My Red Share Experience right here on my channel here. And um, I do it once a week. It's about a 30, 20 to 30 minute show where I get into much more details such as how much I made. I give, I take questions from you. Like all the questions and comments you post on these videos, I pick a few of them and I'll talk more in depth about them on my show. And then I do some topic that has come up for me in the week of ride share driving. Um, so check it out if you have the time. I'd love to... Have you do that. All right, until next time, be excellent to each other. Hope your rides are long because long rides are where the money's at. You're getting fat tips because we need those tips to make the job sustainable. And um, 
Peace.